Hey everybody, it's Dick Trades from Traders Reborn. I wanted to give a quick video on how to use the market playback for Ninja Trader. Basically, you download the data real quick for today or any day's market action, and you can go back in time and take trades during that time. So this is gonna be very beneficial for back testing strategies and just going back and taking the same trades you potentially lost that day or just any day. Maybe using a different trading strategy, uh, honing in on your skills, honing in on your, uh, your edge, you know, just sharpening that knife that pretty much uh, whatever strategy you guys have, right? Um, improving your entries and things like that. So um, you can replay data and you're gonna understand price action a lot better just by slowing it down or speeding it up, uh, going past low volume uh, hours and such. So you can control the speed at uh, whatever rate you want, which is gonna be great. So let's get this started, here we go. So first off, what you want to do is go to the control center um, connections you're going to disconnect from whatever account you have and you're going to go to playback go to playback and as you can see here market replay um, what you're going to do is you're going to choose instrument you can do NQ December and today's date is the 15th so you're going to choose the date of the 15th and then you're going to click download like that it's loading data right now you can see right here and there you go it's done now you can press continue there you go data is loading up as you guys can see here I'm just gonna leave this here so you guys can see and now you guys can see here uh, the data you have market replay sometimes what happens is when you press play it's it um, you see the time running but the data won't move. So what you're, what you're gonna do is you you would exit out of Ninja Trader, you would restart the Ninja Trader, and it'll work again. Okay. But for now, let's see if it works. So this is today. Okay. This is today's data right here. I'm sorry. This is not today's data. This is the date right here. So what you would do is you would fast forward it. You can see the date right there, as you can see right here. I'm gonna move it to today, which is let's say we'll start off at around five. Uh, let's just say 635 you know what let's do 540 a.m. okay and you can see the speed right here one time two times three times however you want it's loading right now so here we go this is at 540 a.m. as you can see right here 540 uh, Pacific Standard Time this is basically my chart now 540 a.m. five minute chart and we are on playback over here as you can see playback account and let's just do whatever you know me you want to do I'm just gonna do a I'm just gonna do some random one here okay so now you see the date is gonna start right here 915 I'm gonna press play this is the on one time right now which is exactly the way the market moves okay so as you can see data is moving data is moving right there you can see all the DOM everything still works um, exactly the way it should okay so let's fast forward this a little bit. You can see here, I can fast forward it right here to 50 times. Let's get it to about 6.30, okay? That's when the market opens. Then we'll slow it down. Right here, look at the time right there. You see it running. See the price action is moving. See it's slowing it down now. Back down to, I wanna get it to around opening. So I remember the market did move right, right before. Okay, so we're just fast forwarding it right now. Um, so everything's just working exactly as is, okay? Let's get it closer to opening here. Okay, let's slow it down. All right, now it's a minute and a half in. This is how we would look at it. Pretty much NQ like this. Let's see how I would, would execute it, right? If you execute it, it, it basically shows up on your positions exactly the way it is. If you want to keep going back, you want to change dates, um, you pretty much just go to uh, right here. You would go to tools, and you would go to um, I believe it was historical data right here. Historical data. I'm sorry, it's, it's over here. There you go. So you would basically go to tools, historical data, and then you can download more data from here. Okay. You would go to download right here, and you would choose right here, download. So that's how you get more data. So market's about to open right now. As you're gonna see right here, 30 seconds left until market open. 
And obviously we already know what's happening here, so it's gonna flush right off the bat. But this is a good chance for you guys to see uh, how market moves, you know, and backtesting strategy, it's a great way, right? That way when you guys are practicing in, uh, let's say after hours or when volume is really low, you don't have to trade in simulation in that, uh, in that low volume hour. You can actually trade in a real environment which was from let's say today or yesterday so i'm trying to hone in on my entry here so this is going to go like this right and then it's going to go down something like that or if it drops below here then we'll just continue shooting downwards based off volume bottom bottom's a lot so the digits bounce right there and then here we go order filled and then I'll take this down to my next target, around 74, 75. Right, stop loss will be at the high of this candle. Order yeah. filled. Rejection. Yeah, you guys can see where positions in. All right, so so there's that retest. You can see. And that's pretty much how you would do it guys okay um, so this was just a quick video on showing you guys how to get it up and running so you guys can back test and that's pretty much it very quick video hopefully uh, you guys can like that very quick little five minute video like and subscribe thank you very much see you guys on the live trading sessions